So there's a new 3-in-1 Windows tablet people are getting excited about. It's the Minisform V3, so it's from a smaller company, but this could potentially be better than the Microsoft Surface Pro 9. You can see physically it's rather similar, it's the same kind of device. We have a detachable magnetic keyboard, and the tablet itself is a full Windows computer, and it's rocking the brand new Ryzen 7 8840U processor from AMD. And that's another big distinction between this and the Surface Pro 9. This is an AMD powered device. Now the 8840U is a minor, rather insignificant upgrade over the 7840U last year. But that still makes this a very capable device, even when it comes to things like gaming. Lots of portable handheld game PCs have the 7840U processor or the Ryzen Z1 Extreme, which is essentially the, the same level of performance. So think of devices like the ROG Ally, the Lenovo Legion Go. Even though this Minisform V3 looks a little different, it's more of a tablet, it really could be used in the same way as these portable handheld gaming PCs. You could easily attach a controller via Bluetooth, but instead of being stuck at a roughly 7 inch display, here we have double that at 14 inches, 165 hertz. Now with my testing with the Z1 Extreme on the Lenovo Legion Go, most games at 1080p medium settings will not be able to give you 165 frames per second. But some light games like Overwatch will get close to that limit, and it's nice to know that the display isn't going to be any form of bottleneck here. The resolution, the refresh rate, it's pretty good. Cooling also shouldn't be an issue. We have two active fans, and this can pull a sustained 28 watts of power. The battery capacity comes in line with my expectations for a device like this at just over 50 watt hours, and the I.O. is pretty comprehensive at two USB-C ports, audio jack, SD card reader, and a V-Link display port in. So yes, you can use this tablet as an external monitor if you want to do that. And as of right now, there's a early bird special going on and it costs $1,200. And that will get you 32 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte SSD storage. Okay, so comparing this against the Surface Pro 9, I would say this is a very compelling value. The overall fit and finish, right, the quality of the pen and put the keyboard it may not and in fact probably isn't as good as the surface pro 9 but i really like the overall value proposition as well as the amd processor instead of intel found on the surface i think it's safe to say that amd in general lately has been performing better than Intel. And the 8840U, even though it's not a huge improvement over the 7840U, it's a solid chip. It's 8 cores, 16 threads, relatively fast, relatively efficient, and it's on par with other chips like the Ryzen Z1 Extreme, which I found to be very capable at even heavier gaming applications. So the question is, in 2024, does that make this one of the best portable Windows PCs that can be used for things like gaming? Well, the answer to this is kind of nuanced. I would say right now, <laughs> this moment in time, it, it is a fairly good value. However, beginning this summer, we should begin to see devices hit the market that have the new Snapdragon X Elite processor. And unlike with this current uh, Ryzen 7 8840U, the Snapdragon X Elite represents a much larger leap in performance. I mean, we're talking 12 cores versus the 8 in the Ryzen 7, more and faster memory channels, greater power efficiency, and ultimately much faster end performance. I mean, so far the data we have, uh, the Geekbench score, both single and multi-core is significantly better on the Snapdragon X Elite versus the Ryzen 7 8840U processor. And the big reason for this is the switch from what I believe to be the old outgoing x86 platform to the ARM architecture. We know that Apple made this transition a couple of years ago, swapping from Intel to their custom in-house M line of CPUs. And since then, the performance, the user experience has increased significantly. It was a great move by the company. And I firmly believe that we are going to see something similar in the Windows space come this summer when the Snapdragon X Elite finally begins to show up in new Windows devices. And I think once that happens, other devices are going to quickly become outdated, including potentially this tablet. Now, of course, I could be wrong, this is just my opinion. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, I appreciate a like before you go, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.